The Belmont Rapid Infuser RI2 consists of two main components. The control system, which is mounted on an IV pole, and the disposable set. First, install the collar on the IV pole just beneath the system, no higher than 30 inches from the base of the IV pole. Mount the system above the collar by pushing down on the pole release handle. Check that the system is secure before proceeding. To remove the system, lift up on the pole release clamp while holding onto the top handle. This will prevent the system from falling. Install the small reservoir support approximately nine inches above the top of the system. The single patient use disposable comes pre-assembled in a sterile container and is color coded for easy installation. Begin by opening the disposable package and tightening the two lure locks. Open the door of the unit. Holding the heat exchanger in your left hand and reservoir chamber in your right, snap the reservoir chamber into the holder. Insert the heat exchanger with the red arrow pointing up. Align the red tubing on top of the red stripe and place the pressure chamber into the pressure channel. Press the infuse line into the secondary air detector to the left of the patient safety valve wand. Note, the infuse line should be at or below flush within the air detector. Place the thinner recirculation line to the right of the air detector and to the right of the valve wand. Next, fit the interlock block on top of the shelf. The blue arrow should be upright pointing towards the ultrasonic air detector. The interlock block will be flush with the top of the machine. Thread the wider tubing over the center of the roller heads. Make sure that the larger tubing is in the groove of the wider blue line and the smaller tubing is in the groove of the thinner blue line. Avoid stretching, kinking, and cross-threading the tubing. Finally, close and latch the door, making certain the pump tubing is not caught. You are ready to power on the system. Press the power button firmly to the on position, which is located on the back of the device. After a brief self-test, operation instructions will be displayed on the screen.